Hey everybody, welcome back to my Star Wars channel. My name is David and today we're going to look at the Diodossini Build Your Own X-Wing build. R2, that, that stabilizer's broken loose again. See if you can't lock it down. <laughs> hey, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for being here. Wow, a ton of stuff has happened, right? A ton of stuff has happened. The Mandalorian season ended. Uh, all the Disney parks have closed because of the uh, coronavirus and I think you know a lot of people that were planning to go to Galaxy's Edge heartbroken right because you'd plan this time and bought your tickets and made all your arrangements and you're just like ah, I can't go but the good news is right this will pass this will totally pass and we'll all eventually go we'll all see it so our thoughts and prayers are with everybody that's just going through this right now and you know everybody that's in the medical profession probably saw that they announced that Ahsoka, her character, is going to be in Mandalorian Season 2, and uh, saw that a lot of fans of Ashley Eckstein were upset that they didn't use her as the character. I understand. I can understand. But, you know, we got to respect uh, the people down at Mandalorian. They know what they're doing, right? That's a great, great season. I wanted to revisit uh, my X-Wing build, and if you didn't watch the first one, my brother... Uh, gifted me this, which is crazy because, I mean, it's a huge, huge gift. So huge thanks to Patrick for this. And he asked me if I wanted a box every single month or if I wanted to save up, you know, several months worth and they would arrive in one box. And I chose the second. So when I get a little white box, it's filled with maybe five months worth of build parts. So I'm not just sitting there building you know, six parts and then I'm done for an entire month, I get a box and I actually get to sit down for an hour or two and build. But then the flip side of it is, you know, you get a box and you're like, ah, I have to build for an hour <laughs> or, or however long it's going to take me. So I've been taking some pictures, taking some progress shots. Obviously, it's not the typical over the shoulder. Uh, you watch everything and fast forward while I narrate it, that kind of thing. I'm I'm just showing you, this is just a highlight reel, right? This is just a highlight reel. This is just to inform you how the build's going and to give you a little bit of idea as to what goes into some of these builds if you were to uh, build your own, right? Build your own. So we're going to cut over to that footage and I'll just kind of walk you through uh, day one. So we're going to start by looking at the instructions that come with the builds. As you can see, the very first box had eight months or eight issues worth inside. Uh, the covers kind of recycle. As you can see there's probably four covers there that they you know go back and forth between. The insides are beautiful, tons of graphics. The first packages were in these little sealed boxes like this and they haven't come like this since. So doing the canopy for the X-Wing, this is the uh, shell of it and I haven't put it together yet. There's no glass there's really nothing else besides this. I kind of balanced it together just so that you could see what it would look like. I should have put an action figure in there though, just to show you like the scale of it. I'll show it to you compared to my son's X-Wing toy. So this is a normal, you know, X-Wing that you would put an, uh, a figure in so you can see how uh, it would look. So the next couple of months or the next couple of issues came in these little bags and that's kind of how everything has come since then, uh, the next thing after the cockpit was one wing. So this is just the underside of a single wing. And just to let you know, I'm not even done now. Um, putting the gun together, it does light up with LED. There's a little battery uh, tester. That's what that box is up there. But as you can see, the red LED was bleeding through. And I did not like that. And they even said in the instructions, like, it might be bleed through. Well, it did. And uh, I, didn't, I didn't want it to bleed through in the final build. So I took it all apart and spray painted what I could black. So the inside, um, and I probably shouldn't have used spray paint. Just letting you know, you probably should use model paint because it's a little thicker. So after building, this is what I had. Uh, uh, not the, the gun almost finished, parts of R2-D2, the underside of the cockpit and the cockpit. Here's a little piece that was giving me some trouble. Uh, this is the decoration on the side of the wing. I couldn't figure out how to push it down with my own thumb. So I used the edge of a pair of pliers and it was the right size and it was rubbery. So it didn't, you know, it wasn't metal tipped so it wouldn't break the model. And I just pushed really hard. 
Here I've just balanced the gun on the wing just to kind of give you a scale of how big this is going to be. Uh, the next month I'll be doing the engine and here's a little video footage of just the length of the gun compared to a gun uh, on a toy. So as you can see, this is going to be massive. I, I can't imagine where this is going to go in my house. I really can't. The wire sticking out of it, that's the LED lead. So that'll have to all get plugged into something, right? There'll have to be batteries in this. So here's my R2. He was not fun to build. Lots of small parts. Had to put all the little uh, clear pieces in his skull in. So that was a lot of fun, but they light up. So again, testing him. Again, he's bleeding through, the light's bleeding through. Probably should have painted the inside of his body with some white testers paint, uh, just to keep that from happening. And put everything back in a box, and I'm gonna wait for next month's shipment and put all that together for you as well. All right, so that was my day one build. How do you like it so far? What do you think? This thing is gonna be massive, I think. This is gonna be massive. I don't even, I think my problem now is, well, I don't know. It's not my problem now, but it's my problem in the future. Where is this going to go? <laughs> like, do you remember the old school days of Disneyland and going to uh, Space Mountain? It, it, like when you went through the line and you went upstairs and you were standing on the roof of the theater, you were able to look over into the other building to the arcade and they had an X-Wing, like a, what, a one third scale X-Wing uh, tied to the ceiling. That's probably what I'm going to have to do. This thing is going to be so big, I'm going to have to tie it to my ceiling somehow. I don't know. Hey, thanks for watching, guys. May the force be with you. I'll see you next time. Bye.